This is the accounting rate of return calculator for MassCelebrity.com. To get there, you type accounting rate of return. So the calculator has two entry points. The first is this box here. And what you do is you enter each return on a separate line. The second is you enter your initial investment amount in this box here. You don't need dollar signs and you don't need commas. We'll take care of that. So when you're ready, you press accounting return. So what we do is we summarize your problem here with an initial investment of 600 grand using the four cash flows you entered. Calculate the accounting rate of return. So if you enter seven cash flows, this will change to seven. So the first thing we do is we add up all our returns. So in this case, we had four returns. We add those up. We get 300 grand. Next, we calculate the average returns. And the average returns is just the sum of all your returns that you entered divided by the number of returns. Well, the sum of them we found out was 300, and the number of them was 4. So we get 75 grand. Finally, we calculate the average rate of return. And that's just the average returns, which we calculated right here, divided by your initial investment, which is what you entered in this, in this box here. So we get 75 grand over 600 grand is 0.125, and as a percentage, average rate of return is 12.5%. So pretty straightforward, three steps, and we get the answer, we get to the answer. So we're going to run one more problem. Now you could just enter your problem in the box. I'm going to press generate practice problem just to show you that you can generate random problems as well. You press this button once. So as you can see, it generated a random set of cash flows. And you press the button again, it generates another random set of cash flows. So when you're ready, you press the counting rate, rate of return. And again, this time we had five cash flows, not four. You can see here. So we sum up our five cash flows. We get 31,356. We divide 31,356 by five to get our average returns, which is this. Finally, our average rate of return is average returns, which is this here, divided by our initial investment, which was this value here. We get 0.0641, which is 6.41%. And that's it. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.